now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, pay get your attention. All right, so we're about to begin. Uh, we got Wendt, this waffles over here. I'll let them introduce themselves in a bit. Um, and so I guess we got seven things going on. It's going to be our first. Once, once again, two, three minutes recommended five. Right? You guys are ready to begin whenever you guys see fit. I would like all of you to close your eyes. Like, actually close your eyes. Now, I would like you to imagine that you've been studying for about five hours. You are totally exhausted. The time is like 12.37 in the morning, and what you want more than anything in the world is food. Sweet. And sleep. But of course, all the residence halls are closed, and food is too expensive or too far. So what do you do? We would like you to open your eyes now. This is the solution to all your problems. Hi, my name is Shri Balaji. This is Caitlin, Brenda, and Sam, and together we are the Waffle Women of Wampus Waffles. <laughs> all right, thank you for that lovely introduction, Shri. So I'm Caitlin, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about how we founded this idea. So we had a mini waffle maker in our dorm in West Campus of UT Austin, and we'd always have friends over, and it was a nice social activity to share our waffles with everyone. So we decided it would be the perfect opportunity to profit off of our friends. So um, <laughs> I'd like to tell you a little bit about our menu. We have a classic waffle, the OG, the very blissful waffle, which is strawberries and blueberries, and then the Batel, which is a banana and Nutella waffle, and then just a chocolate chip waffle, and then our Sinfully Good Waffle, which is just the love child of a cinnamon roll and a waffle maker. Who wants to take a bite out of our waffles? <laughs> um, cute kitty laugh. But um, I want to talk a little bit about the problem that we're trying to attack here. Um, the biggest thing is that residential food services like UD, UT Housing and Dining, as well as um, Castilian, where they live, um, a private dorm, closed at 7. So they close really early before like more students can get to them to like eat like from the buffet style menus. Um, so we're left with like Austin restaurants which are usually really good but very expensive and close early as well, leaving us also with like fast food. Um, and then if we were to have like food delivered to us, it most like Uber Eats and like Grubhub, Postmates, it, the delivery costs are just like added and it can be expensive as well. And they're also dependent on the actual store's closing times as well. So currently at UT, 18% of all undergraduate students live on campus and there's about 41,000 undergraduates. So that's roughly 7,200 students who don't have a place to eat from like 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, and because they live in Castilian, which is exactly like the center between campus and West Campus, our market is huge and essentially it's all the students of UT. So our solution is pretty simple. Um, we're trying to do four things here. Bring you comfort food with quick delivery times late at night and by um, incorporating our delivery costs into the price that we advertise, we're saving you money. Yeah, so um, to make sure our business idea was feasible and we could profit off of it, um, we did a force by forces test and essentially we found out that our product was really unique, uh, mainly because in Castilian you're allowed to have appliances, um, but throughout all the other residence halls you are not. And so they're deprived of the amazing waffle and that is where we come into play. Um, so when we look at our competitors, essentially the UT housing and Castilian is our main competitors, but of course their dining halls close pretty early. Um, we also have other restaurants on campus, um, but they're pretty far and they don't deliver. And then um, there is another student-run business called Gord's Grilled Cheese. They have that amazing logo in the middle. Um, and essentially, they only deliver to a couple dorms on campus, so um, we feel that we could outweigh our competition. Okay. We utilize Glitch to deploy a website to make the ordering process easy for our customers. 
It's as easy as just selecting what waffles you'd like to order, placing that order, and then those waffles will be delivered right to your door within a few minutes. All right, here's a little uh, screenshot of our website that we de developed through Glitch. And there's links to our Google Forms where you can submit your order, um, our menu, and our delivery radius, which is just the Castilian for now. We hope to expand into West Campus and on campus. And then we have contact information and then links to our Facebook and Instagram. So you might be wondering, how do we make a waffle a lot of money? <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, but essentially, if you look at our financials, um, our costs are essentially the ingredients as well as keeping up with the maintenance of our um, waffle machine, and then of course making the waffle itself. And our revenue comes from obviously students buying the waffles, but also as our brand gains more prominence, um, our website will generate more traffic and we'll start to advertise on there. Um, as for future growth, um, in the next few years, we're looking to um, expand to multiple platforms. Uh, we're working on an Android app right now. Um, and then specifically for the website, we'd like to create a database for user accounts. So like if there's a frequent user, we can take their like credit card information um, and like address for their dorm or like residence. Um, as like geographically, we'd like to expand first to West Campus and then hopefully campus wide. Um, and then long term we'd like to expand to campuses like AM and SMU and then hopefully to Um, I hope that this uh, presentation is informative for you guys, and we just want to let you know that we just want to provide butter options at butter prices. Do you have any questions for us? Yes, yeah. What do you think of chicken and waffles? Yeah. What do we think of chicken and waffles, ladies? <laughs> we don't know how to cook chicken in our dorm. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's a problem, but that's a good idea. Um, yes, yeah. What do you think a fair price will be that you'll charge for these waffles? So right now we've set our price point at three fifty for our signature waffles, and then as you add a waffle, I think we decided it'd be like fifty cents or something per additional waffle. Yes, you in the back. This is FDA approved. Okay. Yeah. This question over to me. Now I'll hand this question over to you. I got you. I got you. So Gord's Grilled Cheese is actually a really prominent student-run business. And um, if they're FDA approved, so are we. <laughs> okay, I saw another hand over here. Uh, all right, any other questions? No? Thank you so much for listening to our presentation.